this short video I'd like to show some improvements to the rigging process and to the handling of complex character rigs in Maya 2017 update 3. So here we have the model of the Witcher character and I'll take the complete geometry and go into my skeleton menu and start the quick rig process. When I start with the single click process here you will see that it automatically creates a skeleton for me, does all the binding and even creates a rig for me, the human IK rig, to let me start move the character around. So in this example you see that I can already grab him by the hand and you know move him around and etc etc. So let's say we are happy with this quick rig process even though when you know it, when something is not right so for example when the elbows are not placed properly or the knees you can always go into the step-by-step -step process and do these um, place the guides properly for example and then you know make the skeleton creation and then do the skinning etc to do this you know in a step-by-step -step fashion gives you more control over the whole thing but in this case you know the whole thing worked very nice one problem that I like to talk about is now the handling of this character. You can of course use this human IK schematics to access all of the different pieces of the character. So when you when you animate the character, let me turn off the skeleton here. So when you animate the character, you can always go to this um, schematics and, and select the pieces. But it would be nice if the if the animator could leave his hands on the keyboard and you know do a pick walking with the cursor keys just left and right and up and down so for example if this was a proper hierarchy I could walk use the cursor key to walk up to go to the elbow but in this case in the hierarchy of all of these control objects it simply goes to a group that takes them all together so all of these control objects here are simply grouped in one group so that doesn't help me and other rigs have a similar problem other rigs are distributed in the hierarchy of the skeleton so it's really difficult to make a proper hierarchy to let the operator or the artist walk across the control rig with the cursor keys which is a very fast and efficient way and we want we are trying to achieve something like this now in Maya 2017 we introduced something new to the rigging process which is these controller key uh, controller nodes we can tag things as controllers create some sort of a hierarchy and use the pick walking to to walk across this hierarchy so the first step that I would do here is to select all of these controller uh, objects and tag them as controllers let me tear off this menu here and tag them as a controller so now for all of these objects it's clear these are controller objects and it's not only good for pick walking it's also good for the performance because the process that parallelizes the uh, the evaluation of the rig will also look at these tags and say okay if this object is tagged as a controller and it's moving it means that the the rig as a as a whole or the character is moving so we need to evaluate and then I would pick these objects and create sort of a hierarchy so for example this is the wrist and this is the elbow and I parent these objects together this is the elbow this is the shoulder parent shoulder and body and parent and I'm going to hit control G here to make it faster Con uh, not control G I'm going to hit G here to make it faster so actually we can take all of these children and parent them to this one here and then parent this object to this one G and this one over to this one G so that was the 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 upper body and you see it's pretty fast and even if you have more controller objects it's a very fast process so there's no need to do a shortcut here or to you know to do some sort of a trick here to to make it look like it was easy it is actually pretty easy okay so two more steps so we want to parent this one over to this one here and then these two the upper legs here eh, didn't let me so the green one the ones that picks that is picked last that is the parent object parent controller so and we are done so when I pick one of these objects now I can use my cursor keys to walk down in the hierarchy which brings me to the shoulder 
and walk down in the hierarchy again and down again. And now I'm at the wrist, as you can see here. So now when I when I want to when I want to walk left, you know, our logic tells us we should end up somewhere here. But in the walk hierarchy of Maya, it normally says there's nothing there. There's no sibling there that w where I can walk. But this process here is telling me, OK, yeah, of course, this chain is that has the same depth and we can, of course, go there, you know, by just with a single cursor click, I'm on the other arm and I can modify this arm now here. So you can walk left and right with these cursor keys and then on the other side, you can walk up again, walk up again and and so on. So this tagging as controllers makes it possible to tell the system this is a controller for my character and I want to walk that hierarchy or that thought hierarchy with my cursor keys. That's a new improvement in Maya 2017 Update 3.